Apparently on this day, I screwed up my no spread cookie recipe pretty bad and my cookie spread. But what I'm gonna do here is go in with the original cookie cutter and um, a food coloring pen and try to draw the original outline so that the cookies can have more of a unique, uh, uniform shape because I am not that good personally with the uh, freehand um, shapes and whatnot. So for these Boston Red Sox cookies, I decided that I was gonna lay down the solid backgrounds, give them some time to try, and then go in with some homemade stencils. Um, I did lay down the outline, let that dry for a couple of minutes, and then go back and flood. For me, I try to just top coat sometimes, but then it runs off the edge if my consistency isn't right. So I decided to play it safe this time. And I'm just gonna use my scribe needle to smooth out the icing here. I went online and I found some clip art of the Boston Red Sox logos and printed those out. I had to do it once or twice because obviously I had to make sure that they were going to fit onto the actual cookie. I'm gonna trim those down because what I'm gonna do next is secure it to my self-healing cutting board uh, that I got from Joanne Fabrics. And um, I'm going to place a thin sheet of stencil material, which I also got from Joanne Fabrics, right over the top. And then I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and cut out a stencil um, that I can use for an outline. So once that once again, the um, cookies are at least somewhat identical. They won't be perfect, but at least they all have the same shape socks on them and letter B. So this cutting process can actually be a little tedious and it uh, definitely takes some practice. I'd say just give it a try and learn how to manipulate the board and the material and do some rotating, whatever you do or have to do to make it work. Um, in another life, I would just have a stencil cutter, but since I don't have one, we're gonna make do with what we got. Ooh, so finally, once that's over, I'm gonna carefully pop my little stencils out of place. I'm gonna go back in once the first layer of royal icing has actually dried on the cookies. I'm gonna use my scribe tool to actually kind of carve a teeny tiny um, outline onto the cookies for me to follow when I put down the next layer of icing. So I made this icing a little bit more on the thicker side. And what I'm gonna do is kind of pull out those teeny tiny points that are in the Boston Red Sox um, emblem or symbol or I logo, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, to give it that same look. And lastly, here's a quick look at me just making the baseball cookies, which I make all the time. It's very simple. I put down the white base, I let that dry. I go back in with the lines and the threads. I would show you how I made the sock cookies, but unfortunately, my hand was blocking the entire shot. So I'm sure you wouldn't find that useful. But anywho, thanks for watching. <laughs>